Let me ask you, John, what do you think the greatest form of social control is? And this is what to do with the Malthusian mandate? Humor me. I don't know. How about socialization? People policing each other. Properly tuned culture does regulate itself, yes. You've had the same training, Simon. I'm just as aware of what shapes psychology as you are. See, I'm not so sure. I don't think we'd be in this situation if that was really the case. You mean because I actually believe the world can change? There's an exercise I often do with my first-year students. I have them research mainstream economic publications from the 16th to the 21st century, trying to find any mention of basic sustainability principles. And each year the students come back stunned by how this period gave no priority to even the most obvious regenerative science, let alone anything related to public health. Such things were considered external to this contrived competitive game they called business. I would describe the pre-transition period as a race. A race between human wisdom and complete societal catastrophe. Which is what happens when a technologically advanced culture isn't mature enough to understand the nature of its own power. It's easy for us to look back and wonder how the insanity of that time went on for as long as it did. I mean, here we were as a species sitting on vast scientific potentials to ease social stress, improve public health, and find harmony with our habitat. And while it seems obvious to us today, you have to understand the kind of indoctrination that occurred back then. The culture was so conditioned by the dominant worldview, they just couldn't recognize the flaws inherent to the structure of their society. I don't expect to win you over, John. I'm just telling you the way it is. I agree it's ugly, but without the premature death that capitalism brings in the form of inequality, that planet would have flown off its axis long ago.